Alrighty guys, this is Thunks on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. The Object 260 was not a tank I was interested in. I wasn't even planning on picking it up, but I wanted a new tank. There was nothing in the shop that interested me. I've been waiting a while, I've got lots of gold saved up. I figured, what the heck, I'm gonna go for it. So I picked it up. Pleasantly surprised, it was not as bad as I thought it would be. I've had some really great games in it and some, you know, not so great games, of course. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a review of the tank before we jump to three games. Yes, three games, and I have more games to share with you because I really enjoyed playing this tank. I don't know why. But before we get to my review, if you like my content, if you like my channel, if you like my stuff, if you like my sexy voice, go ahead and hit subscribe. Would love to have you here on the channel. Just consider it, consider it, I say. Of course, hit like, I'd appreciate it, and comment down below. Okay, so my review of this tank. Overall, I'm going to say good. Uh, not very good. I, I think it's a tough tank for many players to do well in. But I really like it. Um, but I have to think of the average player, so I'm going to say good. Gun. Very good. Uh, but you are going to get some bad bounces here and there, so it's not great. Armor. I'm going to say good. Sometimes very good, but don't rely on it. I've had some crazy bounces in the tank. It's weird, and I do think the next update will make this tank very competitive. Last but not least, I'm going to say maneuverability. Good. It does move well for a tank this size. And with that... Let's jump into my absolute first game in this tank. It's not a great game, but I just wanted to share it with you. So, look at the lineups. Well, well, well. They have a Sheridan, and that's about it. As he's the only light and medium tank that they have, he might not want to go alone, or he might go this way and just spot for his team. The one thing I do know about the Sheridan is it's got a kind of long reload. Yes, the gun hits hard, I do have quite a lot of hit points in this tank for in what is probably the purest heavium in the game, if you ask me. This as well as the uh, T95E6. Um, just going to be a little bit passive here, because as I said, it's my first game. I don't know what this tank is really capable of. Put a shot in there. Hmm. Let's see. We haven't been spotted, so... I... Oh, boy. This guy's not in the best position. Oh, you don't want to be doing that, buddy. Luckily, he doesn't get caught out, but he could have been. That's a terrible thing. You don't want to be crossing those train tracks, really. Uh, it's a death trap. Especially if they um, are able to track you. Anyway, um, so they're one tank down. That's great news. I'm going to see if I can get the base here. I don't know why a lot of people don't get bases in Supremacy. It is so helpful for many games that come down to the wire. That having that base will allow you to win or lose. So the only problem is if your team is getting rushed, you're going to have to move faster. So that's the one thing to consider. Anyway, I'm just going to flank around. See if I can find them. Got some shots here, I think. Okay, nice easy shot right there. Boom, one, and he's on fire. That's not too bad. He's in the open, but he's turning to me, he's turning to me. No, he's not, no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. Okay, so I bounced the second shell. But at least I pulled him out of his comfort zone. So now he's getting, well, basically shot from two or three directions. Yeah, he's not gonna last long. Gonna peek around here, probably gonna take a hit. Oh, no, it's not looking at me, so another shot, and a nice track there, so there we go. Got full health, gonna look heat this time, boom, okay, so that didn't work. Man, the E4's armor is much, much, much improved, I must say. And if you want a solid tier 10 tank, in my opinion, I think the, you can't go wrong with the E4 right now. It is such a great tank. After the update that's coming, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but... Oh, what have we got here? Okay, here's a Sheridan, and... Ooh, so a nice little bounce there. As I said, 
having played quite a lot of games in this tank in a short period of time, I do think the armor is a bit troll. Yeah, you're gonna get some crazy bounces. It's unbelievable. And other times, you're just gonna get shredded. So, yeah. Um, I think this tank excels as a support tank. Go with another tank and work with another tank. Going by yourself is not a good idea, if you ask me. But I'm telling you, I've had some great games in this tank. I don't know why, uh, but yeah, really, really enjoy it. Okay, somebody tried to hit me, missed, thank goodness. And now I can just work on the shared. I've got plenty of hit points, so even if he hits me, I... Ooh, wow! I mean, I took that hit head on pretty much, and... <laughs> yeah, he's gone. So now I'm just going to move around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got a shot there. No, no, no. Okay, they're focused on other guys. Oh, he was looking at me. He was ready for me, but I bounced another shot. So 1,500 block damage, that's not a bad uh, you know, result in a tier 10 game with lots of heavy, powered, super deadly guns. Uh, I missed that shot. That's my own fault. I, I couldn't uh, get the right positioning. I do think the uh, gun depression is a little bit of a mm, sore spot on this tank. I think 7 degrees would feel much better. Yeah, the 6 degrees really uh, make it a little bit hard to manufacture shots on hilly terrain. So, as I said, I don't think this tank is good for newer players. I really don't. Uh, but I do think it is an enjoyable tank to play, and I'm really looking forward to its um, what do you call it? buffs in the upcoming uh, update, maybe 10.4, something like that. I'm really excited about that. Because this tank, I think, considering uh, how I've seen it being played, I think a lot of players yeah, just don't want to play it because they, they can't win with it. I, I think it is probably one of the weakest tier 10 tanks for poor players. It really is. Okay, now, I don't know how much health those two tanks have, uh, but I just want to ensure the win, so I'm going to get another base. Okay, I could go over there. I did want to stop uh, their cap and guarantee us the win. Oh, yeah, three versus one. Nice. So I've only done, what, 1,900 damage, block 1,500, and I'm not going to get over there, but I've ensured the win. It was my first game ever in this tank, so I thought, you know, just going to see what it's capable of. And as you saw, I bounced a few shells from some big guns, so nice. And <laughs> you're not going to believe this, but check this out. A mastery with 1,993 damage in Tier 10. Wow, that's the lowest damage I've ever done. Uh, yeah, but look at that. 1,230 uh, experience points. Wow, I was quite shocked. Uh, and four of us had um, over 1,200. That's quite impressive. Anyway, moving on to our second game. And I promise you this game is very exciting. I think this was played extremely well by three tanks. And you're going to see why. And it was a very, very uh, hard battle. Not going to let you know if I win or lose. We're just going to have to see what happens. But it is exciting. So, okay, our heavies are... Everybody's going this way. Okay. Uh, normally, I think this tank would probably be better off on the other side of the map. Um, hmm. I'm going to go mid. I'm going to see if I can find anybody over here. Oh, look what we have. Now, he... If he's alone, he would be a perfect target to go after. But unfortunately, uh, I'm all alone, and I don't know if anybody's with him. So, whoo, what do I do? What do I do? I'm just going to stay as the back line defense here. I'm decently fast, so I should be able to get out of trouble if need be. Uh, the traverse is not great, as you just saw, but aha! My buddy's here. Who's this guy? Okay, come on. Together. Let's go. All right. Now, together, I think we should be okay. I saw there were two tanks over there, so let's see if we can get any spotting done. Aha! And I'm gonna get him! Gonna get him! Nice. Unfortunately, I did not bounce that shot. But now it's two of us versus this guy, and he is in a lot of trouble. I don't know if he's got any support, though, and fortunately, he does. But if we can work together, we should be able to get rid of him rather quickly. Just want to get this guy back, keep him honest, 
And I took another hit for my trouble. Okay, come on, object. Hit him. Or whoever you are. My teammate. Come on. Let's rock his world. Yep. What is it? It's the one-to-one beat. Sorry, it's not the object. I thought it was an object one for you. It looks so similar, I tell you. Okay, so we got rid of him. That's nice. And now this guy. Here we go. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Against the lower caliber guns, you're definitely going to get a few bounces for sure. Uh, but as you've seen already, even some of the big guns uh, won't be able to pen this tank sometimes. You're going you're gonna to see a, a crazy shot later on. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and help out. I want to want him getting over there. Come on, quickly. Keep him alive. If he helped me, I'm going to help him. Teamwork. Come on. And boom. Just ram. And a nice little ram with this tank against those, uh, well, not strongest meds. Let's put it that way. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to hurt them because you're a pretty big tank. Don't know how heavy you are. I haven't checked the stats. Don't care. Uh, but I do know that I can inflict some pain. Okay, our team has not fallen apart yet, but it is six versus five, and I'm nowhere near the battle. I could have gone center, but I'm just trying to, okay, run into a rock. <laughs> Team's doing well, so I'm just trying to see if we can find that one tank that I, I don't know where he, oh boy, they're all over there. Come on. Ooh, okay, so we've lost another tank, and five versus four. Come on, let's get rid of this guy. Can we get rid of this guy? Yes, 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 yes. Aim in, aim in, aim in. Okay, go. So nice. Five versus three. Things are looking good. Ooh, five versus four. But they are quite healthy. The object 704, unfortunately, is in a bad position, but I cannot get my gun down. Oh, I'm going to get take a hit. Yes, I did. Oh, that was painful. So did not really want to take that hit. But I wanted him gone, so I risked it. And now it's three versus two. But look, there's two 60 TPs. They're also in a platoon, so they've possibly played together. They might be doing voice chat. I don't know. But yeah, look, our JPPZ has got, yeah, he's probably one, maybe a two shot if they low roll. Uh, our one, two, one is not very healthy. And now I'd love to get my gun down, but I can't. Six degrees. Mm. I would love to punish that um, highly damaged 60TP, but what I'm gonna do is try and keep this guy away from his teammate. So I'm just gonna kind of bait him to try and focus me, which has worked so far. If he's focused me, maybe my teammates can work on that other guy. Together, they might be able to get rid of him. The JPPZ's gun is extremely deadly. That's why he's not pushed in. And uh, unfortunately, as I said, they're probably both one shots. So, come on. I'm just seeing if I get a cheap, easy shot. Can I, can I, can I? Okay, here we go. We're keeping this guy honest. <laughs> Look at this, and now this is a tense game. We've got two pretty much one shots myself. I've got plenty of health, but I want him to fire. If he fired, I would have pushed in. Managed to use this tank wisely. Nice shot in there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they took out uh, our JPPZ, I think. But since he's fired, he's saying go, and he's right. Yes, nice, one, two, one, good work. And oh, boom, he's gone, so now it's up to me. And one versus one. Okay, here we go. I didn't know his gun hits hard, so come on, hit him. Oh, I oh my goodness me. Oh, brother. So I'm gonna take a hit. No, I bounced that. Can you believe it? Uh, frontally, my tank doesn't have the best armor, but I do have a faster re reload than he does. I'm also more mobile. I can get around him. But now he went down. Smart move there, but okay. Got the hit points, come on, reload, and let's get rid of this guy. Bramo, do your thing. Yes, I think that was a very good game, and great job 121B and JPPZ. I couldn't have done it without you. I thought that was a really exciting, tense game in the end, and another mastery. I think this was my sixth game in the tank or something like that. I was like, wow, our yo did zero, I mean, a yo, a freaking yo, oh my goodness. And our SU12254 DPM machine, 300, yeah, it's not gonna get it done. But somehow we were able to pull it off, so woohoo, I'm very happy with that game. And the last game, maybe the best of the bunch, I don't know. 
Let's see what happens. So we're on Yamato Harbor. Looking at their lineups, well, they have Leopard 1 and E50M, two strong meds. They've got two big guns in the grill in the 183. They've got also got an E100 as well, it's a big gun, and a T57 with that super clipper. I gotta be careful of pretty much every tank. Uh, yeah, of course, I can easily pen the 183 and the Leopard, but um, yeah, this tank is definitely not super strong, uh, 260. I wouldn't recommend it for newer players, as I've said before. However, I do enjoy the tank. Uh, one's got nothing to do with the other. I just don't think it's a strong map. As I said though, I just can't wait to see its buffs because a long time ago the T95E6 was pretty much a meh tank and then they buffed it and it became a pretty solid tank. Very solid actually. Um, so I'm hoping they might have done the same according to Drudels. Uh, that could be the case. Gonna load Pramo here. Gonna get a shot in. Nice! So that was nice. Unfortunately, our TVP decides, you know what, I'm going to charge to my death. Uh, yeah, he's taking three, uh, 1,300, 1,400 damage. Whoa, great. That's, that's real helpful, bud. First move of the game, pretty much. And, uh, yep, oh, you're almost dead. What a shocker. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, who could have seen that coming? Yeah, he absolutely got ripped apart. And he's going to get gone in T minus five, four, three, two, one. Not yet. Oh, wow, he's... Oh, no, nope, there he goes. So, we're down a tank. Makes my gameplay very different from being more aggressive. Uh, so I'm just like saying, report TVP. And report, I just mean, yeah, give him a thumbs down. Uh, or if you want, in inactivity, whatever. Because, yeah, not a good move at all. My guess, 43%. <laughs> anyway... Um, them of the brakes, so I've just got to see what I can do. Now, thankfully, they're not pushing in here. Got our TD back there, but another tank is down, so not looking good at all. I'm really wondering what to do, and I thought, yep, it's pretty much all over right now. Uh, I'm just kind of laughing at it, but here we go. Can I get some shots in? Okay, four versus seven. Okay, that is well, pretty much all over, right? Okay, their 183 is a one shot, so that's nice. Um, figure, okay, uh, let's move on in. I'm gonna help out our leopard, and oh, what have we got here? Okay, I missed that shot. So, so far, I have done absolutely nothing. I'm staying low just because of the 183's gun. Hoping I can avoid some shots, getting rid of this guy in the process, and the answer is I can indeed, and I just need to stop. But he is gone, so nice job, T62. And from an absolute disastrous start, it's now four versus five. So, not bad. Just trying to stay a little bit okay. Not good news, as you can see. That armor is very solid. Got my T62 somewhere behind me, so together we should be able to get rid of this IS-4. But uh, me versus him, no, probably not gonna happen. 183 is asking for help. Yeah, sorry, bud. I'm stuck. This guy's coming around. He's a one-shot. Love him to come around. Come on. Come on in. We need to get rid of tanks off the battlefield. And a one-shot is... Oh, he's gone. So that's nice. So four versus four. Okay, things are looking up. Okay, the IS-4 does not push in here. Uh, and I bounce another shot. So I've taken two hits. Uh, sorry, I've uh, bounced two shots and I've taken one hit. So what to do? Luckily, our teammates over there are doing a great job. The T62 doesn't have that much health, but you know what? I'm going to force the IS forward to focus on me. Or, well, he... Oh, okay. So I'm going to use my speed to get around him. And now the T62 is able to work his magic, and I should be able to get a shot at... Oh. But here comes the T62. I'm telling you, the T62 is a hero in this game. And so is the JPPZ on our team. So he's trying to run away, and I'm like, okay, thanks. So if he focuses me, it means he's not focusing on T62. Now that would be great, because I've got the hit points to spare. So just trying to punish this guy. Come on, go ahead, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Focus on me, focus on me, focus on me. Don't focus the T62, no, no. T62 hits him, and he doesn't take a hit in return. I don't believe so, that's great news. And now it's three versus two. What a turnaround, oh. JPPZ is taken out, but now it's two versus one. 
I've saved my hit points, and so I should be able to cause some trouble. I'm hoping the T62 just snipes. I've only done 2,200 damage, so I'm telling him, snipe, snipe, stay out, stay away, stay hidden. It's okay, I'll take the hits, I'll push on in. Unfortunately, the E100 is heading the T62's way, so that's not good news. Need the T62 to stay alive. He's a one-shot, for sure, against the E100. Unless he's super unlucky and bounces a shell, which probably won't happen because he can probably use HE here. So I've now got the rear of the E100. Nice one shot there. Stay alive, T62. Stay alive. Stay alive. E100. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, well. Now I'm in a position to be able to bully this E100 because I've got the speed. One versus one. Should be able to take him on. I've got the hit points. Unless he ammo racks me, it's pretty much all over. I'm going to load Pramo here. He's still reloading. There I go. Boom. So, four versus seven. Wow. I did not think that was possible. TVP charged to his death in seconds. Did nothing. 3,759 damage. JPPZ 5,100. That's a man's game. T62, solid work as well. Yo, well. And TVP, ugh. Anyway, those are my three games. I think they illustrate what this tank is capable of and sometimes the good luck you'll get, but you'll also be unlucky as well. So don't expect the armor to bounce every time. But with a new update coming, I will have to make a new video and a showcase what it can do after all the changes come in. So that's exciting, looking forward to that. But I do have some other great games I had in this tank. I'll be sharing them with you in a few days or so. That's all I got for you. I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.